Hi everybody, Kimberly Crawford here for My Favorite Thing Stamps, and today I'm going to show you how to make this gorgeous spinner card from Anna. I think this idea is so creative and so clever, and with uh, dynamics from My Favorite Things, it's really easy to do. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, to start off with, she took um, the stamp Geometric Grid Background and heat embossed that with gold powder, which made an amazing background. The next thing we need to do is we are going to do an opening in the front for our spinner to sit in, and I'm going to use um, inside and out stitched oval stacks to do this and I'm going to use the um, fourth die in one two three four fourth die and I'm going to put it face down meaning cut edge down onto the center of the card and then I'm going to grab some low tack tape and I'm going to use a couple pieces of this to hold it in place so as I pass it through my die cutting machine it won't shift and end up in places that I do not want it so let's get this centered up. I'm going to put my tape to the inside. I don't care about what happens to the inside. That's just going to be a dropout piece. So we're going to go ahead and um, do that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up and pass it through my die cutting machine. Okay, so I have taken the front piece out of the front of my card. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to start doing the spinner part. What we're going to need to do is to make a couple of small holes on either end of this oval. If you have a small um, hole punch, that would be perfect, but I am just going to use this um, paper piercer, which has a sharp point on the end, and I'm going to use that. And I'm going to just eyeball it and kind of put it as close as I can to the edge right above, and go ahead and pierce a hole through at the top. I'm gonna go real gentle. There we go. Because I wanna be close, but I don't wanna make the hole go through. And let's find a spot at the bottom, about right here. And just push real gentle with an even pressure to get that to go through. Here we go. And let's reinforce this one really quickly. I have some gold thread here, just a basic thread that I picked up at a craft store. And what I'm gonna do with this thread is glue it in between my two cage images. And these images are from Cheerful Cages Dynamics, and I cut two of them from the um, gold foil cardstock to make this shiny, amazing cage. On one of the cages, I want to put some glue and attach the string. The string is going to go in between those two holes and the cages, and that's what's gonna create our spinner. I'm gonna grab my fine line glue bottle and run a string straight up the middle, or the glue straight up the middle so I can put my string up the middle. And adhere that down. Okay, there we go. So we've got the string all the way through the middle. And actually, I'm gonna adjust it just a tiny bit. I'm gonna pull it farther down. The reason I'm doing that is I wanna make sure I have enough string to tie on either end. Now that we've got the string in place, we could go ahead and top this with the other cage. All right, now that our cage is together and all adhered together, we're gonna go back to our card base and we're going to tie the strings through the top and bottom hole. I'm gonna feed my thread right through that hole and pull it through. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same with the bottom string too. So again, I'm just gonna find the hole that we created in the beginning and feed that through. Oops. And there we go. When you tie the strings here, you want to make sure that you tie them tight, but not so tight that you warp your card base. So be careful as you're tying that you don't get it too hard. I am working on trying to get this balance between the top and the bottom. So let's start with tying the bottom. I'm gonna tie a basic square knot, so I'm just going to make a loop here. go this way so I can reach. There we go. Make my first one. 
make sure that as you pull it tight, that you're pulling it to about the height that you want. And then that looks just about good. I'm gonna go ahead and do it one more time. Do one more so that it stays in place. All right, so now that I've got the bottom one tied and in place, I'm gonna go ahead and get the top one tied and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm just gonna tie a square knot and uh, get it exactly where I want it. And there we go. Now we have the spinner part. I'm gonna trim the edge of this off here. And the edge of this off here. And now we can go ahead and take a look at our fun spinner front to the card. To cover up our holes, what we're gonna do is we're going to make a frame and we're going to use um, the same ovals again um, and we're going to create a frame around the outside. And to create a frame with your dies, it's really easy to do. Take your dies and place them down. And guess what? You can pass these through together like this, no problem. The only thing that you have to be aware of is that you don't let your dies cross over one another so they don't get like this. So again, here's where some of this low tack tape comes in really handy. Use a piece to hold each of them in place and it'll keep them from crossing one another and it also makes sure that you don't get a lopsided frame. Line it up and make sure you have an equal amount of edge all the way around. Hold it in place with a little bit of tape. And let's pass it through the die cutting machine. All right, here we have it. We have our frame to put around the front. And because we use the same dies that we used to make the original opening, now we've got this perfect frame highlighting our shaker. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down. All right, and now you can use some fantastic new stamps, the um, Tweet Friends set, to go ahead and decorate all around your fantastic spinner card using some great new dies from my favorite things. Have fun making spinner cards.